everyone and welcome to this week's reaction. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this week's reaction of the fifth What the Fuck episode of season five. I'm excited because... You know, I'm always excited for my girl Yasmina, nothing new here. Last week we ended up on a weird note, but I'm excited to see how this week is gonna unfold. I expect pain simply based on everything that is going on. I expect pain. So yeah, welcome to this week's reaction. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I am very excited to have you here. Hopefully you will enjoy your time here. If you don't know me, I do reaction videos. I did reaction videos to The Hulk season six and now I'm doing reaction videos to What The Fox season five. I will probably do reaction videos to some other kind of Scamverse related content. As well as my Scamverse reactions, I also do a Scamverse podcast. So if you are interested in that, just stick around on my channel. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy your time here. Without further ado, let's start our reactions. I have a couple of clips to react to because I decided to change my schedule. I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to stick to a timing and instead of doing reaction to clips every day because it's not sustainable for me anymore based on my work schedule and my life, I will just react two times a week, once in the beginning of the week, once at the end and like kind of put all the, all the clips together. So from now on, I'm going to be reacting Tuesdays and Fridays. This week, I will do it on a Wednesday it's simply because, you know, I changed some things. But from now on, that's the schedule I'm going to stick with. Just so there's no disclaimers, every video, I'm pretty sure you're annoyed with that. And for my own peace of mind, at least I know that there will be, there will be a routine. I need a routine. But yeah, without further ado, let's start. I hope you are as excited as I am. Ooh, she's unblocking him. So sexy of her. <laughs> Do these siblings not know the art of knocking? Clearly not. Mostly Elliot. That thank you was very minimal. <laughs> I still don't know what a space cake is, by the way. You are, but that's not the point. Ever since I had the talk with Ali, it's interesting because I just realized how, like, the men of color always have the same issue on the scam verse. It's always like they are the ones that are doing everything wrong. And it would be interesting to see like an Elias or or the men around like the Sanas to actually be like, you know, not the ones screwing it up, if that makes sense. But I love the relationship. I love like that we are getting the chance to explore the dynamics so much. Like, I really enjoy that we are being able to explore, like, this sibling dynamic. Also, I'm gonna leave it here. There's my little, like, there's the thumbnail for my little video from last week. <laughs> okay, let's go into the next clip. She's a runner, she a track star. <laughs> Luca with the little tss tss tss. And Yasmina just running. She a runner, she a track star. She a runner, she a kick star. Mm, that's also true. A lot of the times I know what's going on. Also, the Care Bear shirt, nice. Care Bears are very... I'm not saying anything, but... Oh, more, more Frank Ocean. <laughs> nice, Luca. Luca's imagination is not something you want to play with. I feel the isolation thing coming in strong and I don't know how I feel about that. The voice of reason. Bless her. She, she, she's so in love with him. I think it's pretty clear that she's completely in love with him. Hmm. No, absolutely not. The feeling. Yasmina, baby. Look at the best friend. Look at the best friend. Also, bless them. I I feel so bad that Yasmina feels this way. Like I just I just wish she could enjoy like the feelings that she's having without the guilt and without like the trauma and the trouble. I don't know. I feel bad for my baby. I feel really bad. But 
it's part of the storyline like this is you know the clownery of watching the same storyline over and over again with just a few changes is is that you already expect and you already know that the sanas are going to feel like this so nothing we can do to change that let's go into the next clip she can't she's looking at basketball and she's just thinking about Eunice for sure okay so now Kato suddenly doesn't care about Insta I mean Yasmina Yasmina man But I mean, she's right. She's right. Like, I feel like out of all the Vildes, Amber is actually the one that requires the most validation out of other people. And is worrying. Is worrying. Like, every season we see it a bit more. We see a bit more of that. And yeah, it's just like... And it's coming to like, it's full completion now of us seeing like how much validation she needs from others. It feels weird, but yeah, it's, I, I'm sorry, but I like it when Yasmina just snaps sometimes. Sometimes it's needed. So people, you know, sometimes it's needed to clock people. Uh, but yeah, let's go into the next clip. Just give Yasmina a break with the kissing and whatever. She just, she wants, she doesn't want to think about feelings and everything is making her think about feelings. Not nice. Also, I still love this picture of her and Zoe together. Unblock him. I realize now that she didn't unblock him, that she was, it was like tapping, but she didn't. And now she unblocked him. And she followed him again. And he's probably freaking out. <laughs> okay. So you are telling me that Yasmina followed Eunice back and the second she did, this man is already like DMing her. He's sliding on the DMs. I'm sorry, but this man is in love. This man is in love. I don't know anyone that's that quick replying to anybody. This man is in love. It's great that you want to be my follower again. The, the cheek he has as well. Yasmina, if you want to get over this guy, this is not the way. Don't think that what you are in love. You want to go on a date with him. Just accept that there's nothing you can do you are in love yasmina baby girl you're gonna you just need to give yourself over to the love you need to give yourself over to the love oh bless her okay <laughs> this is cute i'm glad he's finally unblocked uh and yet yeah, Younes, massive yasmina simp is the number one yasmina simp no one else none of us like yasmina stands can compare to this level Let's go to the next clip. Sh shopping with your parents is always the coolest. At least for me. For my mom and for my grandma. Oh, Bless her. Ah, Sander! Rave, but Sander! Ooh. <laughs> oh. Sander looks radiant. Oh my god. Also, this is... I'm just going to pause for one second. This is something that I noticed with a lot of, like, my white friends, okay? If you see my parents, you say hello to me and my parents. You don't address, like, I don't know. It's so rude in, like, our communities to, like, not address the elders and the parents or whatever. And I notice this a lot with my white friends, right? And address the family like address the parents if you can see me with someone else you don't need to like go hug and like mm -hmm, but like address them please <laughs> because our parents are gonna start thinking that you are not nice and you are not you know like please just address our parents for our sake uh but also sander sander looks radiant he looks happy and that's exactly what he deserves mm -hmm. Mm, okay, I absolutely adore seeing him so happy, and yeah, I'm I'm glad that this means that like everyone that is just oh the story is not nice, is moving too slow, and oh sobe there 
right? Now you can go back to focusing just on Yasmina. See, like, the mom is also obviously not, like, giving too much, but they are also, like, looking awkward. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. There was a friend of mine that used to say, like, who raised you when he came to, like, some of this behavior. This street rem reminds me so much of London, though. Like, this literally reminds me of, like, Croydon High Street. <laughs> this is literally Croydon High Street. <laughs> Yasmina is calling it how it is. Islam doesn't need to be reformed, but it's very valid that, like, people read the text however they want. Because within Christianity, within Islam, like, people read it in a different way. Some people are very extreme in the way that they read things, and some people are not. And honestly, Islam to me is such a beautiful religion, all about, like, love and accepting others and... and and being kind to others, and I don't know where people take this hatred from. Same with, like, the Bible, but, you know, I'm not gonna go into this, like, entire religion talk right now, but, yeah, that was a cute clip, that was a cute clip, simply because, like, Sander looks very happy, and I'm very happy for him, my twin, my twin is happy, but, yeah, yeah, like I said, start greeting the parents of, of your, of your foreign friends, please. <laughs> But yeah, I like the clip. I like the clip. I think, like, it's very clear now that Yasmina is very clear on her ideals in regards to everything. In regards to the good things about Islam and the things that she doesn't agree, as well as the things that she loves about, like, Belgium culture and stuff. Um, and, and what I like about Yasmina so much is that she's very outspoken about it. She's very, very outspoken about it. She's not hiding, she's not pretending, and this is what I like. She's not being put in a situation that she has to hide, and she has to, you know, dim down what she believes, which is... really like it. Oh, he's asking her, how are you doing? I love family clips so much. Like, I just... I'm very family-oriented, so I really like when the scams dwell a lot into the family aspect. Why, when, when were you talking to him? I mean, he has a point. He has a point, I think. <laughs> I love Elias. I love Elias. It's the best. It's the best. I love Elias. Oh, the man's coming. Elias is looking at her. Also, my friend Mac just literally came up with the best thing that when they are not doing well, they are not matching and they are not matching right now. Oh, Eunice looks so sad. But I, I hope that they don't go into this whole like, oh, what do you want with my sister? Like, I hope they don't go that route. I don't like it. I never like that like plot line in movies and stuff. I feel like it's boring, outdated, like, oh, I need to preserve my sister's virtue, so I don't like it. I don't personally like it. But, yeah, we we are there now. We are there. Uh, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for Ines, but Yasmina must be going through so much in her head. Like, she's she's trying her best, and it's hard when you are literally feeling like your best is not enough and that you are doing something wrong. Especially being this, like, deeply religious. It, it's not something that I ever experienced myself. So I can't even imagine what she must be going through. Uh, but, yeah. These are the clips for now. I, I enjoyed them. We are getting into, like, the, the, the... I said, I said last week that we were slowly but surely heading into Hell Week. And the seeds, the little seeds of, of, of pain are there. So, I I think this week is going to end up on, like, a sour note. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we will see. We'll be here, and we will see what's going to happen. Until then, stay fresh. I'll see all of you on Friday. 
We are back for the end of the week. We have four clips to react to. I'm excited to see what's going to happen because like I said, I really think that we are going to end up with a lot of drama this week. Either by the way of Brits or either by the way of Eunice. I think these are the routes that we are going to go to. Excuse my awful, awful place. It's really late at night and I was having fun and I had... A little bit of a drink also i've been super excited the past few days because eurovision is happening and as any other european gay i'm having a lot of fun during eurovision and i'm just having a good time with my friends but yeah let's start the clips for today i'm excited we're gonna see the ones from thursday first and then the ones for today and yeah let's see let's see how it goes i have the same tupperware 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 but in blue we figured out by the text that Yasmina is not present on this group, so... Yes. No, it wasn't. It's a very small group. How did no one check? How did no one clock? Oh my god, Yasmina's gonna come for Brits! Finish her, Yasmina! Even though, like, honestly... Um, I'm gonna pause this for a second because, like, I've been saying this for a while. It pisses me off that Brit has been the villain for three seasons. Like, they could have given this world's Kato, they could have given it to anyone else, I don't know, but it's very, it just doesn't make sense. One of my friends, like my friend Juana says this perfectly. So you are telling me that like, Jens Sander, which is someone that is very important to us, both dated this woman and all of the girls like have been more or less friendly with her. And she's like this horrible person. Like it, it just doesn't make sense. Especially because they make it so it seems like she's getting better. And then she's getting worse. And like where's the character development? It's hard for me to solo that they made her the Sonia. That they made her the Ingrid. And now that they are ma making her. Like it's just annoying that she's always the villain. Pick someone else, like find a new character. Oh, oh, they could have done it with Marie. Like if Marie is involved in this situation, they could have done it with her. Like leave Brit alone. Obviously, yes, because we are rooting for the main and main is Yasmina and Brit is messing with Yasmina. The same way she messed with Robe and the same way she messed with Yana. But it's like, give this girl a break. Give this teenage girl a break. She can't always be the one wronging everybody. That was just a little rant that I had because like I'm really tired of the treatment of Brit. Like it's just, it's something about the writing that I can't swallow and I don't think is nice. Like they are doing so nice with everything else, especially with uh, Eunice and Yasmina and Luca. So why are they like just using Brit as the scapegoat? I don't understand like every season. I don't understand how they didn't make her the villain last season as well. But yeah, next clip. Imagine, just early in the morning, <laughs> she's going after Brit, she's going after Brit, she's going after Brit. This would be an amazing time to play Run Boy Run. <laughs> also, this bathroom is very, it just gives off confrontation vibes. I would be scared of messing with that, it with Yasmina. What is the tea? The girls are fighting! Oh, her eyes look so pretty here. I wouldn't want to come last thing if i'm being invited as like a last thought i'm not going like that's just me either you invite me in the beginning or you sound like you genuinely forgot but this is not the case at all she's messaging you this again go get your man asmina go get your man that's unfortunate of course he's sorry, baby. Bless. Oh no! Go on your date with him! Buy an extra ticket! No! I want them to go on a date, obviously, so... That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's go on to the clips from today and see how this Friday is ending. Um, confrontation with Brits, maybe? Let's see. Let us see. Exactly. I wouldn't go. 
Because it's not nice. It really isn't. Oh, Best parts. <laughs> Luca is so nice. Luca! <laughs> the pansexual vibes Lucas just exudes are amazing for me. Okay, that's cute. So... With this clip, we can conclude that she's not going to see Brit, so no Brit confrontation. So that makes me very scared because if it's with Eunice, it will be even worse. So yeah, let's just move right along to the last one. Okay, so do you know how I was... Okay, so realistically, I was talking complete crap because I completely forgot about the message that Aisha and Eunice exchanged. So I just remembered that she's the one that's going to the cinema with him. And something something is, is, is fishy. Something is like, something is smelling fishy because I think there's gonna be trouble there. And my predictions might be coming true even though i think i had this conversation with one of my friends that was like it makes absolute no sense for anything to happen between aisha and Eunice because at this point aisha knows that yasmina likes him so if they use that route it's just again bringing up this narrative of like women not being able to trust each other and you know Aisha being the bad type of Muslim so I don't know let me stop theorizing because we don't know what's gonna happen let me just watch the clip to be certain but I really really hope that they don't do that but yeah she bought an extra ticket so she's going to the cinema so oh my god she looks so beautiful can you take the mask and title base in a row? Oh my god. Just in love with him. But yeah, I don't like this. I'm already feeling stressed. This music is too tense. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, they're just friends. They're just friends. You can be like this with your bestie. You can 100% be like this with your bestie. Doesn't mean anything. Like... I mean, she saw them together twice, so it's a little bit... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My girlfriend, please don't do this to, to Yasmina, please. Aisha, baby, please. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so they're, they're not kissing, right? They're just too close and it seems like they're kissing. Yeah, they, they're not kissing, but yeah. Yeah, Yasmina is gonna cut that off now. Oh baby, I'm. I don't want to see you cry again. Why every day Yasmina crying? Why they need to hurt her? It's not even Hell Week yet. Oh baby, no. I hate this. I mean, I feel like this was very purposely filmed. Also, ooh, them hen ending it with that shot. That seems like attire that a, a Muslim woman would wear on her wedding, right? It seems like it to me, but now I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it was filmed in a way that like hinted at them being very close. And and obviously like, it might be that Aisha also has a crush on Eunice. Um, and obviously like once Yasmina said, no, no, it's over. She probably decided, you know what, fine. But it doesn't mean that, you know, Eunice is into it. like. You might just, you know, be friends with her and that's it. Especially because sometimes, like, a person is clueless about someone else's intentions and someone else's, like, feelings until they actually express it. Um, sometimes it's not clear, especially when you like someone else. But it's hard. It's hard because it was literally, like, filmed in a way to imply that. And Yasmina already has her doubts in regards to the whole Eunice thing. So obviously seeing him with Aisha, so close, um, and I don't know, it might be hard, especially because I saw yesterday or two days ago, I don't remember, I don't remember when it was, um, that 
it was like, oh, if I was Eunice, I would be tired of Yasmina or whatever. And first of all, that's freaking ugly to say that. But second of all, like, maybe that's what Yasmina is thinking and feeling. And that is so wrong. And that is so ugly to, like, say that and to even feel that. Because imagine if, like, just because you are not certain, a person would just, like, move on from you like that. Like, just like that, you know? Um... So yeah, this is hard. This is hard, especially because we are still on week five. So what the fuck always hits people very hard on the on the hell weeks for all of the mains is just gonna continue that way, I assume. Um so I'm scared. I'm scared for Yasmina's hell week, I'm not gonna lie. Uh but yeah, what can I say about this week? Like it was okay. Again, it's hard. It's hard to see Yasmina just like being in pain, but I really enjoyed again the development of her relationship with everybody around her so with luca with elias with her mom and seeing her with some other people as well and how she navigates her environment depending on where she is so that to me is always very interesting um in the summer season because the feeling of isolation is obviously the most relatable factor of her season to me so it's always very interesting to see how they handle that and I think it's hitting us very, very deeply in this case, especially because we have like more examples of, of Muslim people around her. So I enjoyed the episode. It's hard. It's hard. I, I don't want more drama. I don't want no trauma. I just want to see my girl happy. So maybe I just keep all the episodes until she's happy again. No, okay. I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it for this week. So yeah, good episode, good season so far. Uh, I don't know if the season is actually only going to have 10 episodes. If it is, we are at the midway point, which is kind of sad to say because it's going too fast, I feel like. But yeah, yeah, that's it. So as for now, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. Thank you very much for yet again participating and watching on one of my reaction videos. I hope you are enjoying them so far. If you enjoy my channel and if you enjoy scam related content, please feel free to subscribe to me. I would really love to have you here. And if you like this video, consider liking it, like pressing the little thumbs up thingy down there because I don't know, I just think it helps uh, in terms of growing my channel. I feel like my channel has grown very much in the, in the space of me doing this reaction. See, it hasn't even been a year and I feel like I grew to places that I wasn't really thinking it was gonna happen. Uh, but I would love to reach more people. I would love to continue having, you know, incentive and I would love having a community so I can continue having this motivation to create content regarding something that all of us love so much. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video hasn't been too long. I hope you enjoyed the reaction and yeah. I will see you next week. Bye.